family, what's going on diggers and diggets? This is Straight Up Metal Detecting, I am Tripwire. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about refurbishing some of the finds that we dig up from the ground. I mean, why let things you like go to waste? <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, there's certain things that I dig up that I really like. And I try to use it as much as possible. Um, I want to show you guys how I make magnets, uh, how I do necklaces, and maybe a keychain. I'm working on a keychain now. And uh, even pins, buttons and stuff. It's, it's something that you could do like if there's nothing going on in your little world or it's raining outside or it's too snowing. Save some of the stuff that you really, really like. Like for me, uh, Pepsi. I'm a Pepsi person. I love Pepsi. I like the bullet casings. Bullet casings to me always make excellent necklaces. And just little stuff like that. So I'm going to give you a little idea of some of the things that I've already made. And I'm going to show you what I use to make new stuff. Okay, so let's get into it. Let me show you what I've already made. Okay, here's some of the stuff that I dug up uh, that I use for buttons and pins for my vest. Um, like I said, like Pepsi, I'm a Pepsi person. I dug up actually two things on this one. Uh, the backing of a pin and the Pepsi itself. And this is another one, the same thing. I found the skull separate from the backing of the pin and I happen to like the skull better. Uh, I got this wheat penny. And I know it's, it's like ran over and squished and everything, so there's no value to this one wheat penny. So I decided to make that into a button and pin. So, uh, yeah, this is just something that you got stuff lying around like this that you really like. I'll show you how to make some pins. Okay, magnets. Magnets are actually very easy and simple to make. Um, I like making uh, like really bizarre bottle caps, uh, you know, because like love by hated by many, loved by few, and badass. I mean, um, yeah, you don't see those every day, so I just kind of like turn them into magnets. If you have any hunters or gun collectors, uh, this is actually cool to make this type of magnet because when you know we're going to find tons of shotgun shells, and they do make awesome magnets, so I like you can always give that to someone. That likes to haunt, I'm pretty sure they might get a kick out of that. And uh, yeah, again, you know, these are just things that I found and there was no backing and I had no use for them. So I just, boom, turn them into a magnet. They come in handy when you want to hang up some. Here we got some of the things that I truly just love, love making and it's necklaces, you know. Okay, this is not something you're going to wear to your aunt's wedding or your cousin's birthday. But it is kind of cool if when you make your own necklaces, people come up to you and they say, hey, you ever find anything? And just show them the necklace and say, yeah. You know, like I had this uh, Japanese coin. This is actually a good luck coin. And to me, it actually works. If I ever need good luck, I just wear this necklace and it comes in handy. And this is the first uh, necklace I ever made. Again, it's like two different parts. I just kind of like put them together and voila, I got ourselves a little necklace. And bullet casings. I love making bullet casing necklaces. I don't know why. I just totally love it. Again, if you got any gun fanatics in your house, you know, just for not, for some reason, make a couple of these and just hand it to them. Because you know we're going to find all this stuff. Might as well play it to use. This is something I recently just started doing. Every time I pull like a toy out of the ground, it's always had like faded colors or colors not even existence, but the, the toy is still in kind of good shape. Lately, I've just been um, spending a little bit of time going to get some paint and I've been repainting the cars, believe it or not, or any other toys that I like a lot, like airplanes or whatever. If I think they're cool, I'll take some time and I'll definitely repaint them. Just to make them look good, throw them up on your shelf. All right, we're going to kill uh, two birds with one stone here. Um, the way I make the magnets and the way I make the pins is basically the exact same way. Uh, you go to your dollar store, you can pick these up for a dollar and these for a dollar. This is a hot glue gun. And this is actually almost a must because uh, you need to put it on there and have it stay. This is quick drying and it'll keep everything in place. But for some reason, it doesn't adhere to uh, metal almost at all so that's where the gorilla glue comes in so once it's stationary you put the gorilla glue down it'll stay let it sit for 24 hours and it'll be really good it'll be very solid very sturdy and that's just how i make my uh magnets and my pins yeah um okay i almost totally forgot even the magnets you can find at your local dollar store and actually i found this over 20 a stack of 25 at a flea market or something like that so yeah you can get your magnets from the dollar store okay necklaces are a little bit more tricky um again dollar store they always got chains a chained 
<laughs> Anyhow, um, as you can see, I'm not into hearts, but this was just a dollar, so get rid of the heart, you don't need that. So you just got your chain here, and um, what you're gonna need to do is, here's your charm that's gonna be on there. You wanna make a little loop or a hash that's gonna go behind it, and then you're gonna wanna glue it down the same method as before, and bingo, you got yourself a necklace. And again, like this is really cool when you're out mail detecting people ask if you find anything, just show them your necklace. <laughs> And last but not least, uh, I found this little uh, tank here, and I'm definitely going to have to repaint it because I really like the way it looks. You know, I, I don't know how much that costs. We just had it laying around, probably about 2 or $3. And then you got your, again, dollar store, you get $5 million of those for a buck. <laughs> and uh, sometimes if you don't have paint, like you got a little marker here, and just color in certain areas that you want darker. That's all there is to it. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope I gave you all some pretty good ideas what to do with some of the stuff that you find. And uh, thank you very much for listening. Thank you for watching. Happy hunting. Keep the hunt alive.